Louis Gohmert went on some of the Sunday shows and made a fool of himself. He's going to talk about Obamacare. Let's listen. I do think that uh, even though we're one half of the legislating body that from which no spending occurs unless we agree, that that is a position that, that allows us to force others to adhere to the Constitution. We don't have to wait for the Supreme Court. We can force that. And we can say, you're going to abide by the Constitution, whether the Supreme Court gets it wrong or right. We have the ability to force respect for the law, and some of us think that we ought to force them to do that. Do you think and you have the votes to defund Obamacare? It doesn't appear like that to not, me. Not right now, but we'll see after August, after people go home. And it, as far as Obamacare, though, when the president himself says, it's not ready, so I'm giving this, this break to all big business, what about the poor guy out there making $14,000? He's going to pay extra income tax if he cannot afford to pay the several thousand dollars for an Obamacare policy. Who's caring about him? Well, a lot of us do, but it's not this president because he didn't let the individual mandate have a year off. He, he, that only goes to big business. That's not fair. Hey, that's a false narrative. He said that we're trying to keep people from having health care. That's just not true. That is an absolute blatant lie. We are not trying to keep anybody from getting health care. And whether or not they have insurance under an exchange or not does not prevent people from getting health care. Ah, did you notice the way he worded that at the end? We're not trying to stop people from getting health care. And then he put an inflection and repeated it when he said health care. And you're right. They're not going to walk into the emergency room and say, hey, you with the leg that just got sawed off, get the fuck out of here. You got the Ebola virus? Tough cookies. Get out. Leukemia? Sorry. Move along. No, no. They would never do that, right? But they will stop you from getting health insurance. Now, what happens when you don't have health insurance? Oftentimes, you don't get the health care that you need. So in a roundabout way, they are stopping you from getting health care. But also, and more importantly, if you don't have health insurance, that's why medical bills is the number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States of America. Because Louis Gohmert and his Republican buddies would stop you from getting health insurance because they wanted to leave the system the way it was, where there's millions of people without any health insurance. And we also had 40,000 people that die every single year because they don't have access to basic health care. But Louis wants to sit back and do nothing about that, absolutely nothing. Now, when he gets into his other points, man... All of a sudden, Louis Gohmert cares about a guy making $14,000 a year. And the guy who makes $14,000 a year, Gohmert was saying, oh, that guy's going to get hosed by Obamacare. Somebody making fourteen grand is on, can get Medicaid. Do you not know Medicaid exists? But how do you not know that? You're a congressman. You have to know that. But why would I expect Louis Gohmert's the guy who said President Obama's trying to start the new Ottoman Empire? What? He said, uh, oh, Jews should not be allowed to serve in government. I mean, need we say any more about the level of intelligence that we're dealing with here? And at the beginning, uh, he was utterly clear, and he let the American people know the true intentions of the Republican Party. He said, we can force others to adhere. Now, he was referring to the Constitution, but of course, Louis Gohmert has no idea what's in the Constitution. He thinks Obamacare is unconstitutional when the Supreme Court said it is constitutional, and it's only constitutional in multiple ways. I mean, the general welfare clause, under the general welfare clause, uh, it's allowed. Under the interstate commerce clause, it's allowed because it's just another form of regulating business. Because, you know, you banned pre-existing conditions and said no more lifetime caps. And it also, I mean, you're allowed to force people to buy car insurance, so it's the same thing. You could force people to buy health insurance, right? But uh, what Louis Gohmert slipped He's letting everybody know, oh, no, no, we will force everybody to agree with our agenda. Now, the polls completely disagree with the Republican Party and Louis Gohmert on almost every issue, but they're telling you, yes, we'll filibuster everything, and we have filibustered everything. So, uh, sorry about that. Uh, this is what we do. Get used to it. Well, make no mistake about it, Louis Gohmert wants to take away something which is very good for the American people. Last point here. Obamacare gives subsidies to the poor and middle class to help pay for health care. Subsidies. So it's helping them. It's not like they're going to be punished for it. It also bans pre-existing condition. It takes away the lifetime caps. 
It makes it so that the health insurance companies can't do like 50% of their money, spend 50% of their money on paper pushing and overhead costs. They need to do at least 80% on actual health care. So uh, the absurdity of it all is that Gohmert, while he's pretending to care about the average guy, his policies would overwhelmingly hurt the average guy. 